Hey guys, this is uh, breaking news, but it may be an errant rumor, but we thought it was important. Yep. So we wanted to address it as soon as possible. Rumors are swirling in the business and online that Chrysler may be going away tomorrow, Nathan. That is correct. Now, there's something very important that you guys need to hear before we get started. We contacted Chrysler directly and they did respond and their answer was, we're not going anywhere. So you have the rumors on one side and you have Chrysler directly telling us, at least for now, they're not going anywhere. But we thought it was important to address these rumors and potential stories because there's a big meeting happening tomorrow in Italy where the CEO of FCA, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles, uh, Sergio Marchioni, uh, is going to be addressing shareholders and um, different publications have published the fact that one of the things he's going to be talking about is the fact that Chrysler is no more. We have also received an email from an insider at a dealership saying that they were informed uh, that as of tomorrow Chrysler is going to be no more. Now once again it's important to state here that uh, we have contacted Chrysler and they've said basically um, it's an errant assumption That's that, right. that Chrysler is continuing. But uh, I think you know rumors have a grain of truth in them so we should kind of talk about why um, it might be going away or why people are assuming it might be going away and kind of the history of the brand and then talk about the question that this potential uh, scenario raises. Absolutely. That's a great idea. Let's start off with a little bit of history because a lot of you guys don't realize, or perhaps you don't realize, that Chrysler's been around for a very long time. They are one of the older automakers out there. Walter P. Chrysler started the company around 1925 and since that point in time, Chrysler went from just being a brand to basically an umbrella corporation that had other brands underneath, including early acquisitions of Dodge and DeSoto. Yeah, and uh, they've also purchased other brands that were uh, now, uh, in hindsight, very significant, as mm -hmm. in Jeep, right? oh, yeah. which got folded into the umbrella. They also uh, were on Death's Door a whole bunch of times, and there's that famous moment in history where Lee Iacocca basically invented the minivan. <laughs> he helped the, I brought it to the forefront, the K car and the minivan. Saved the company. That's right, with government subsidies too. There was some extra money coming in from the government. But the fact is that, you know, if you go into your local Chrysler dealership, you only really have two models to choose from today. Yep, that's right. They got rid of the 200 technically last year. Yeah, and so all that's left is the Chrysler 300 and the brand new Pacifica, and the 300 is pretty ancient. It is. Um, I mean, if you look up here, we have, sorry guys, this is our big whiteboard. Last year, 2017, they sold 51,237 Chrysler 300s in North America, in the United States. And that's not a horrible number by all means in terms of, you know, it's not bad. But if you look at what other companies have done with cars in that class, they've sold many, many, many times more. Now, the big seller is the Pacifica. The Pacifica is... As of last year, 118,274 units sold. That is impressive, considering that the van really comes in only two flavors, regular and plug-in hybrid. Yeah, and I think the reason that people are a little bit worried about Chrysler is if you look at those numbers and you combine them, you get 184, 888, 545,000 units. Yeah, that's last year in 2017. 2017. And, um, the lowest number that they've ever sold was in 2009, which is 177 or about. So they're really kind of at the bottom of of, this, of where you know they have been. That's right. This is their second worst year in 2017. That's saying a lot. And once again, only two units. At their peak, just Chrysler, not the other ones. Just Chrysler was selling over 600,000 vehicles in a year. That's nuts. So, so yeah, that's so, not great. So if you're a businessman or an investor or a journalist like us, you look at that and you wonder how do you keep a brand going on one minivan and one relatively old sedan in a market where sedans are dead. That is correct. Now, keep in mind, this is one of the few rear drive sedans that you can get and all wheel drive as well. So they are still building them, they are still selling them as we mentioned. So let's move on to the next question which is what will uh, take the place of Chrysler in the US market so in other words that's their luxury brand right I mean basically that's what their luxury brand is do they make cheaper Maseratis do they make less expensive Alfa you know, Romeos you know um, 
if you ask that question with the Ford uh, release of the fact that they're not going to be making any more cars, there's a simple answer, right? The fact that Ford isn't building cars is a huge plus for both Honda and Toyota because oh, yeah. those car companies are going to step in and they're going to fill that void. So where people were buying Fusions, they're going to buy Accords and Camrys. Sure. Uh, you know, if Chrysler goes away, I'm not sure there's such a huge market niche left open because they only have two automobiles, and one may be filled by a rebranded band. Yeah, yeah. So there are three brands that FCA owns that are kind of the crown jewels, mm -hmm. and those three brands are Ram because yep. it makes money, Jeep because it makes money, uh, and. Alfa Romeo, not because it makes money, but because Sergio, at least in the past, has said that it's a brand that has world equity, right? People know it, and so people understand what Alfa Romeo is. So that leaves, you know, Chrysler, Dodge, and uh, Fiat kind of out in the cold in some ways. So Maserati. It could, it, well, Maserati, yeah. It could be the beginning of more consolidation. It could be the beginning of more, you know, more brand changes coming. We don't know. Once again... I want to be clear, FCA says this is not happening, but right. we're kind of doing a hypothetical what if. Yeah, based on a lot of the rumors out there from a lot of other periodicals, not to mention a lot of you guys. Alrighty guys, well that's basically it on our questions, but what I'd like you guys to do is ask a few more because we have a whole team here who are dying and chomping out the bit to answer those questions. Yeah, we're on top of this. We will see tomorrow what uh, Sergio announces, you know he's retiring. All right guys, thank you so much. Let's, uh, let's see what happens, huh? Yeah, thanks for watching. Remember, put your theories, your comments in the comments below, and remember, check out tflcar.com for more news views and breaking <laughs> Chrysler or Fiat news. See you guys next time. Ciao. Bye.